And what is up guys, welcome to this new episode, the straight out, straight into the war. Oh, you have to go there. there. Let's get you another destroyer. Net fleet, I can obliterate. It might run away though. We are at 35, and again, there's three coming in, so 38. So we'll just get two, and then we're back to destroyers. Next step will be to upgrade these. Okay, bye bye, one holes. He's gonna run away so we can blow up this base port. Yeah, my chorus are getting destroyed. Not sure why. Okay, first, I'm gonna send you to repair. But 28 plus 533. That's 36. And to repair them. I'll just bring back this yeah, this guy. I'm just gonna pump research for now to keep them safe. So you go to quarry and then I think Trappist has research. Prime. And But I'm not gonna risk my ship for it. The fleet's repairing. Okay. 
I don't know how many ships I have anymore. 28, 31, 34, 37, 38. With two more corvettes. And then. That's a big fleet. Fuck. Where is he? Fargus. He's coming, he's coming. What are you doing there? What the heck? I never sent you there. I told it. All three ships. No, just go home. Probably gonna blow up the science fleet. Okay, there it is. I'm sure this is gonna work. I really don't understand how this game wants me, me expects me to build this kind of fleet so fucking fast. Like without building up the economy first, which seems to be a logical fucking thing to do. What are you doing? These land. They can't land. I have no armies. Fucking warp, man. Always takes forever to freaking move in. It's gonna land because my fleet is not moving! Move! Fuck! Good for you. Size, I don't have any. I don't have any point defense. What's screwed. How much are we having? A super, uh, super powerful military. This is the end of the fucking run because I'm going to lose half my empire here. I always have a small, like, no matter what I do, I always end up having a smallest army, no matter what happens. It takes so fucking long to build an army in this game. Yeah, 
I'm not playing this. I'm gonna have to spend like the rest of the fucking game rebuilding a fleet. Like it takes six months to build a cruiser. It's gonna take what two years to build a battleship? And that's what massive income because I focused massively on the economy. There's no way in hell that I would be able to build a fleet, a proper fleet, fast enough. Without focusing so much on the economy. Also, we are industrious, so there's a 15% here that's because just of our race. So let's assume we have maybe 120 naturally. 235 for consumer goods. No, that's the mistake we made here, but... I don't think that would make much of a difference. Okay, it makes a lot of difference. This is stupid. I don't see the point of ever increasing living standards then. It's always a loss. So we learned that here. But beyond that, the more ships I build, it's first resources I'm not building, or sh building, making buildings with, and second, it's maintenance. I'm paying seven maintenance for ships alone with eleven ships. How much would it be with like what I don't know, two hundred ships, four hundred force limit built, the whole thing built? There's no way I can afford that. And again, that's assuming I'm not building the economy at all. Anyway. That's me trying to understand what went wrong. Obviously I'm not building the fleet enough. I just don't see how I'm supposed to be building both an economy, keeping an economy on top, while building a fleet. I mean, it's a choice, right? You sacrifice one thing to build another. And that's why I don't like to build my fleet too much early on, because then its resources end up putting on the economy. It's a snowball. Anyway, that's the way I see it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any input on what went wrong here or whatever, let me know in the comments. And, well, there will be another series starting tomorrow, probably, with another idea. I already have an idea, but I'll leave that to them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.